Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that's within me, bless his holy name. Welcome, family and friends, to Wednesday Wisdom. Before I um, start sharing um, my verse, I just want to encourage you um, to continue to open your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ, open your heart to his word and to his spirit. Amen. I want to encourage you not to feel good about yesterday's accomplishment, um, how much time you spent in prayer, in fasting, um, how much you gave. Um, don't take pleasure in this thing. Every day is a new day. What you accomplished yesterday is not going to give you the victory over um over the flesh today today you have to open up your heart to the lord today you have to submit to god that you can be able to resist the devil amen so um don't take joy in what you accomplished if you are then you are walking in pride and also you are um sharing in the lord's glory and he said he will share his glory with no man so um if you are doing that i encourage you to to repent seek the lord's forgiveness seek his mercy seek his grace and his help that you can um walk uh walk in the way that is pleasing to him you can walk in his spirit and um you will allow him to get the glory for what he um, accomplishes, what he does in your life. Amen. So I remember that there was um, one point that I felt good. I felt good about hearing from the Lord. I felt good about his word being confirmed to me through other men of God that I would listen to, even sometimes on the TV. I felt good, but um that does not say anything you know it does not say that um you are okay with god you know the heart is deceitful and is desperately wicked so um only god knows the heart only god searches the heart only he can reveal the heart so um don't feel good in that don't be deceived and allow yourself to feel good uh for what what belongs to god amen or what should go to god uh, he's merciful and he speaks his word because he wants to reach us he wants to touch our hearts he wants to fellowship with us he wants to reach others through us and this is why he does what he does it have nothing to do with you it's not because you spend so much time in prayer you spend so much time in in fasting it's not because you can speak in tongues it have nothing to do with that it's just god's grace amen so let's proceed so i want to read from romans 8 verses 4 but i will start from verse 3 and it says for what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh god did by sending his own son in likeness of sinful flesh on account of sin he condemned sin in the flesh now verse 4 that the righteous requirement might be fulfilled in us who do not walk according to the flesh but according to the spirit so we know that um the only way that this righteous requirement can be fulfilled in us we must accept the lord jesus christ into our hearts it cannot be done without a relationship with the lord jesus christ there must be um repentance there must be salvation in order for that righteous requirement to be met because jesus um met the righteous requirement and this is why now it is saying that um in order for it to be fulfilled in us we have to walk according to the spirit of god so um there are two ways presented there the way of the flesh which is the desires of sin 
you know, the desire to follow the sinful ways of our past life, our old life. And then we have the spirit, which is um, the desire to follow the Holy Spirit, the ways of the Holy Spirit, to um, walk in the character of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And to live in a way that please him. Amen. So, um, like, like it says, in order to fulfill that righteous requirement that the law required from us, we have to walk in the spirit. Amen. We have to walk in the spirit. We must choose daily to walk in the spirit. Walk in the spirit in order for that righteous requirement to be fulfilled in us. Amen. It is, um, it is a, it is a, how to say that? It is a, it is necessary in order to have it fulfilled in us. It's not just one time. Jesus did it one time. But for us, we are to walk in the spirit in order to um, to enjoy that or to access that or to um, to have that um, freedom from that which the law required of us. Amen. We are to walk. In the spirit this is the only way those who are in the flesh they cannot please God we cannot please God if we are walking in the desires of sin based on our own old life you know going back to our old ways of acting of speaking behaving you know um, going back to the old places where God delivers delivered us from you know, old mindsets, old, just old habits from our past life, sinful life that does not glorify him. We cannot go back there. Stay away from sexual immorality. Stay away from lying. Stay away from cheating, stealing. Stay away from gossip. Stay away from all things that does not bring glory to God. Amen? And you can find that in Galatians Galatians 5, Galatians 5, I will just read for you um, verse, verse 19, no, I'll start verse 18. It says, but if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornication, um, uncleanness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions, jealousies, outburst of wrath, selfish ambitions, um, dissensions, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, revelries, and the like of which I tell you beforehand, just as I also told you in times past, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. So, um, I also want to read verse 16, which said, which says, I say then, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So, um, this is the way you won't fulfill these, um, these works of the flesh that I just, um, read. You have to walk in the spirit. Amen. Walk in the spirit. And then verse 25, it said, If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Amen. So um, we 
it will be evident if you are living in the spirit you are living you are following the desires of the holy spirit you are um, choosing to please him um, you it's going to be evident it's going to show in what you practice you know it's going to become what you practice amen so um let us open our hearts this is the only way to um to get free you must open your heart get free from um the overcome sin and the sinful desires you must open your heart to god open your heart to his word daily um open your heart to his spirit and let the word of god get into your heart by um, meditating upon the word of god and letting it get into your heart to cleanse you because that's what the word of god does it cleanses us and so um when it cleanses you so the more you put the word of god in is the more um, his spirit will fill you the more you will be filled with the spirit of god amen so it's not just about how much time we spend in prayer which all these things are good i'm not saying no but if your heart is not deeply being touched your prayer your hours in um in prayer and your time in fasting means absolutely nothing if your heart is not being transformed deep within so this is why i'm saying open up your hearts to the lord every day open up to him and he will reveal those things to you that you are not aware of you have been blinded to you've been um deceived um even by your very heart the things that the enemy has been you know doing um and you are not seeing it and um you know just open your heart so he will show you show you ways that the enemy means the enemy is manipulating your mind you know and causing you to think certain things you know certain ways you know causing you to have um causing you to have negative feelings negative um judgments about other people that's just totally not existing um these things are very real but the more we open up our hearts to the lord he can reveal these things the way the devil operates and let us not give the enemy any place to operate by opening up our hearts and let the lord reveal those things those hidden things those secret things amen so god bless you and again i encourage you to allow that righteous requirement to be fulfilled in you by following the desires of the holy spirit and living to please him because those who are in the flesh cannot please god amen those who are in the flesh cannot please god and and we know that there's that constant battle going on you know paul spoke about it how the flesh wants to do he wants to do he wants to do good and then he find himself practicing the evil thing he does not want to do you know that's what is in the flesh but with the holy spirit following the ways of the holy spirit it is possible to do the right thing it is possible to practice the right thing amen but we have to give control to the holy spirit in order for that to happen so um, God bless you and continue to draw closer to the Lord Jesus that he may draw closer to you. Continue to open your hearts to him that he will reveal to you the things that are hindering your walk with him. Amen. And hindering you from drawing closer. So God bless you and I love you. See you next time. Bye bye.